final set. We've got an incredible heat coming up. Coco Ho, Felipe Toledo taking on Tatiana Weston Webb and Kanoa Igarashi. Right here in Lamore, California. Let's get things started. It is time for the final. Coco Ho has been brilliant today. Her lefts have been insane. Her style in the barrel. Surfing with purpose and style. Every decision has been brilliant. Look at that tube time. I love how she just relies on that back arm to burn speed. She'll take that back arm out of the wall of the wave and speed back up. Back to business off the lip. Beautiful style and that fading cutback. It's always interesting, Rosie. You see how, how deep they'll go on that cutback because they don't want to get left behind. Coco manages that so well. Incredibly deep on the right. How's that inside bowl? And time to celebrate with a big hammer off the lip. Bonus section to drill it again. Maybe a third turn. And now finally catching some breath. That was a <laughs> really, really epic epic wave to watch such a fun way to open up this final i mean coco just start to finish committed on every maneuver i love it coming down to the final left for coco ho to put up a big number she's trying to outdo her six five seven to help out her teammate of felipe there's that beautiful draw nice clean punch off the lip two quick turns to stretch this out Belt it vertically, solid composure there. Another big bird for Coco. All that power in the pocket, she's surfing with a cause right there. And right there, slips off. Her rhythm was incredible. Wonder if it got into her head. Okay, I've got a better 657 and just slipped off the rail. 8.23 that gets the Jose Cuervo shot of the day. So much tube time and explosive on that layback hack that he turned into the quarterfinals. Since then, him and Sage have been eliminated. We're into the final now. The pure gold rumble at the ranch. Tatiana Weston Webb has been lethal today. Great start, a series of big backside hacks before the pit. Wiping off some speed, just getting a quick view. I think judges really appreciate you not just skipping that first barrel ride, Rosie. Yeah, well Tom from Tati. I think in my opinion, watching her move through the round, she's almost been a little bit underscored for how technically uh, sound her surfing has been. I don't think she got particularly deep on that first section though, but I think that rail work and the top to bottom surfing she's doing on her backhand um, is really technically difficult. Another quick exit on the barrel and a solid finishing move for Tatiana Weston Webb. <laughs> like the feeling of that one. She's got, been getting super duper deep on the left, which has been great to see. But I've seen some dramatic improvement on her backside too, Brian. What's Felipe up to? Oh man, he is scheming. He's getting in the mindset to do damage. Tatiana Weston Webb, always protecting her local beaches back on the North Shore of Kauai as we watch a quick vertical. Little bit more downtime, setting up that second turn, but timing brilliant for Weston Webb. 7-4-3 is what she got on her right. That's what she's trying to improve on. Big foam climb hook. That was insane. Another solid power move. Looks like she's in total control, Rosie. What's she got on the inside? Oh, man, she's going to get so deep in this tube before she hits the lip. Eyeing up this section. Now showing off that ability in forehand tubes. Looks like she almost had a little room to stand up straight for a moment. Then throwing a little punt. You could tell she was amped to throw a little air on the finish. Incomplete on that one. But Kanoa Garashi must be feeling solid. That Tati turned in a great performance. Coming down to a final here. The pure gold rumble at the ranch. Teammate Coco Ho is helping him with a 6-5-7. Getting some speed, Strider is looking good so far. Wind up, big gouge on the open face. Wow, he's starting out fast and crispy. Let's see if he comes into this inside barrel. Nice transition, guttering out right there. He's got that hand holding the wall. Beautiful stalling technique. You can see those front toes gripping down on the board. Here we go, out of the front, big alley-oop. Oh, and he sticks it, beautiful turn right there. He's gonna go back up for more. Nice sweeping turn. He's just getting started, folks. 
He's loving this wave. Father's Day in Brazil. Let me tell you, this is what he would love to be doing for this day. Into the barrel on the inside corner. Beautiful right there. Coming all the way through. Is he going to give us another one? Yes! Beautiful work right there. Felipe Toledo stomps a massive alley-oop and throws in an alley-oop halfway down the line. He's one of the only guys that will go to that maneuver that early. And after a long wait, it was well worth it. So they got a pretty solid total out front. Now the whole goal for Felipe has got to be just get a 10 now. That's the only way that he can improve. That's it. I mean, the gauntlet's been thrown down. The 967, is that the highest score of the day? It's got to be. That was insane. Two big alley-oops. I mean, he's done a few on a wave before in the past. Officially, though, yeah, that biggest number. I love that casual throw tail reverse. Getting creative now. Big blow tail again. He can hang that board out the back for so long. Pop shove it just to mix it up. He's going to enter the tube switch. Now setting it up. He's got a lot of time to pull this off. Felipe. Now goofy foot through the barrel on the inside. Is he going to lay something down? How is that front side turn to finish? I'm actually irritated <laughs> because Felipe surfs better switch than I do as someone that's dedicated their whole life to the sport. So That was amazing. He's a freak. That is insane. To be on your weaker stance, to be able to hold a decent amount of style to pull into that barrel on the inside that's when you're feeling on top of the world that's the kind of feeling we've been waiting to see out of felipe all day today it's so funny though because we were just talking about how he's had those opportunities it hasn't gone his way and he's just you know gave us that little eyeball before he hit the lineup <laughs> knowing that he had something up his sleeve just saving his legs for this last run this will be interesting over. rosie for scores i mean they don't score switch tubes really ever uh, you know on tour it's incredibly <laughs> difficult is that strata screaming switch stocks foul guarantee i mean strider's a proud goofy foot he's probably always wondered what felipe would be like on his switch stance skate influence type maneuver there that pop shove it and then sets it up goofy which is just something that you don't see very often and might as well do, throw down some different lines you already have a nine six seven so he had a lot of room and a lot of freedom to really explore some possibilities there. Thank you, Felipe. That was <laughs> so entertaining. Felipe was going on to defend his title, got an interference with Kanoa. Kanoa went on to win, happened again in Rio, led to a suspension from Felipe when he was upset about the call, recovered from that. And Felipe ended up beating Cano at Jay Bay. It was, it's one of those little underground rivalries that pops up. And after Felipe just got a 9-6-7, well, let's see how he, he did. Cano is going to answer here on his opening ride of the final. I love that little tidbit, knowing the history going into this wave. Here we go, Strider. It's all up to Kanoa now. You know what? He's going to get busy. There's got a lot of work to be done. And if any man can do it, he can. There he is going to the lip line and... Well, the commentator's curse. He went down. Sorry, folks. It's all good, Strider. I just had a feeling Kano was going to go for it. He's one of the rare surfers that will risk an air on that first section. I feel like he knows that he's surfing for a 10, basically. He's surfing for a big score. I guess we could break it down with the help of Coco Ho and Tatiana Weston Webb. He's surfing for an 8.82. So not quite a 10. It's a very attainable score for Kanoa. And 882 turns this thing, so it's well within his range. But now it's going to come up to his left. That's where he's going to have to get it done. He can still do it on the left. Kano Rodeo! <laughs> I'm crazy. And it almost feels like, Rosie, it wasn't like he was trying to do too much. He's pulled that air a lot on that opening section at the CT level. He's done it earlier today. <laughs> So that one just got away from him. It's coming down to one more wave. So I feel like maybe he's not even worried about the massive 967. If he can just control it, know it's an 882, do some incredible surfing, he could steal the show on this last wave. Definitely. And I think, you know, it all comes down to such a fine line on not making this maneuver. Kelly was talking about it earlier. Oh, the board flips up. Maybe the wind caught it. But also that friction in the ocean, you've got a wave before that kind of sucks out. Um, where here you don't really have that push. You're really generating your own momentum through through the maneuver. Maybe kind of flip that board up a little bit too much. Got caught by a little bit of wind. 
It really is just subtle things that make the difference. He's to put it all on the line. An 8-8-2 or better will give himself and Tati the win over Toledo and Hull. Let's see what he's got. Quick snap to start. Nice using of the coping there. Risky maneuver, but he's got the speed now. Nice power hack there. Can't afford any mistakes. Big fin throw deeper off the bottom. Love that extension turn over the roof. Rapid fire backside hammers for Kanoa Igarashi. Jams it hard, a lot of water to the sky. Big vertical once again, looking solid. Quick fin throw, climbs the transition. Backside float in the flats and he will go down on a very risky decision to ride the rooftop of the hollowest part of that wave. Your champions of the Michelob Ultra. Hold on, we'll hear it officially. Yeah. Coming yeah. through, Coming through. Uh, waiting. We got Pat O'Connell here. 7.2, not enough. Winners of the Michelob Ultra, pure gold. Rumble at the ranch. Team Tolico. Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.